Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the MCU crew. What are we like? Why are you so tiny? I don't know. You're, are you not at home? I'm First not, of all, that's probably why. I'm not on my usual setup. Okay. I'll just do this. I'm not on my yeah. usual setup. That means that your internet's going wonky. Uh, so you might change shapes and sizes throughout the show, which will I apologize. be interesting. It'll be nice and fun. I don't apologize. I've never had more fun. Frankly, this is going to be a real treat for me all morning. Like, what size will bronze be? What's going to happen? I'll, I hope it stays the same. We'll see. I don't know. Oh, well. Who could tell? Who could say? <laughs> we're, we're not uh, superheroes. Oh, yeah. So we don't have uh, the sightseeing yeah. ability. Yeah. Oh, for once, it's not me who's backlit. And oh, I'm so proud I know. Of it's me. It's me. I'm not the problem this time. It's JP who's the problem. Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. whoa, whoa. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll take this one for the team. What are you? What am I gonna say? Bronze is the problem. I can't uh, yeah, say you that, can't dude. Say that. Yeah, yeah. I you can't get... say that. What are you talking? I can't That's say that. Part of the contract is never. Yeah, it's part of the contract. Can't... I can't. I, I can't say I, I should give some context. Okay, so <laughs> I went to a Punjabi wedding yesterday. And uh, oh. reconnected with my family after a long time. Nice. But um, completely forgot how batshit insane Punjabi weddings are. So even though I was like, even just leaving, being like, okay, I'll leave at a decent hour. Uh, le the process of leaving took 45 minutes. <laughs> just saying hello to everyone and saying goodbye to everyone and every single person being like, you're leaving? already we'll do a shot with me and i'm like no i'm driving oh you're leaving now yes i have to drive back to seattle oh like each and every uncle and auntie like you're leaving have a drink with me i'm like i'm driving is that why you're leaving early and so basically somewhere along the way between portland and seattle i was too tired and i was like i have to stop for the night <laughs> Okay, I was that's see in my in my setup. Uh, sure, that's so very good of you. No, that's fine. Like that's very good of you that you managed to get out and you like <laughs> stopped on the road. Like you need because I'm gonna let you know. If it was me, I would have been like, I can't. If there's a hotel around here somewhere. I can take that shot. Yeah, I would have been like, yeah, no, I don't need to leave. We're good. I would have well, had I got, every even shot. Then, I I got most of the way home and then just kind of wussed out where I was like, I'm too tired. I can't do this. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> that was the right call. We're safe on the road. Safe on the road is good. Yeah. 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 It's normal to say this is a normal thing to do. It's an adult thing to do. I, I'm I downside have, is I have to this test setup my is not ears. ideal, so I apologize. Oh, it's fine. I have to test my ears. Is this a Yeti mic that I hear? No, this is the job red. It's an earpiece. Oh, okay. it's an earpiece. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I have not heard this uh, uh, before. This is the Interesting. If you want to hear a Yeti mic, that's the mic I was using while on vacation last time when we did our uh that wasn't bad. Our Hawkeye. Yeah. That Yeti does does a good job. You know, it's it's the the workhorse of the streamer world for sure. That's true. That's true. That and a C920, that's a match made in heaven right there. That's a good stream. I mean, that's good how you time. start. Let's be real. <clears throat> yeah. That, look, if you wanna if you want to know how to start 15 years ago. Boy, have I got the setup for you. <laughs> if you want to travel back in time, I got this. The C01U or whatever the hell that thing was called. I got, yeah, get one of those. It's true. Get yourself an old 720 camera. I got you. I got you. All accurate. I have a few of those. I, I probably have a bunch somewhere. Yeah. Uh, well, let, let's get the bad news out of the way, guys. I don't know if you saw this, but uh, there were no Emmy wins last night for Marvel. No big wins. Uh, and fans Does are outraged. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just don't even remember about the Emmys. Yeah. To be honest. Not even Don not even Don Cheadle? 
Uh, I mean, like no. SNL won an Emmy. And Let's SNL, see. I feel like, is so hit or miss. Not even know? Don Cheadle for his amazing portrayal of who won Captain that? Rhodes <clears throat> in three scenes? Um, I am trying I to figure that out who won. I can't it. believe they nominated him. Uh, I mean, like... <sighs> oh, Courtney B. Vance from Lovecraft Country won that. Sure. Because, it, yeah, it's... He beat Don out. Cheadle. It was it, it was really weird. The Emmy the Emmys were weird last night for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons, at least as it ties into this show, Disney had like four nominees in every category, lost every single one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in this one in particular, we had uh an outstanding guest actor at a drama series. We had Don Cheadle for Falcon and Winter Soldier, Carl Weathers for Mandalorian, and Timothy Oliphant for Mandalorian as well. And the other two uh were from The Crown and Lovecraft Country. And Lovecraft Country won. So let me just let me just stress. Yeah. While I love all three of those performances, as a special guest, it makes no sense why they would win an award. Like I just I That's love just me a, a Timothy weird o- category. I, I love me a Timothy Oliphant, but there's no way him playing the like cowboy guy from the Star Wars books in a TV show is award worthy. Like it's just not <laughs> It's just not award. It's like not a thing that I would give an award for. It's fun, but when it's not like. When is this show going to win an Emmy? I don't know. Uh, whenever Timothy Oliphant wins an Emmy for playing uh, the cowboy wow. from Star Wars. So never. Yeah. Don't say never. Don't say never. Could be his year. Season three Mandalorian. Season three is coming up. Happen. You're correct. You're correct. We've got we've got one more potentially two more shots. If they do another season. That show could this, go Thomas. places. We can do this. There's yeah. hope. Uh, if this show won an Emmy, I would be like, the Emmys are the worst award show. <laughs> They're terrible. There's was, no rules. I was thinking no, about that. Awful. I was thinking about that last night right before I went to sleep. It's like, when do streams start being eligible for like proper Hollywood awards? Like, Never. when do content creators <laughs> start Never. being involved in proper Hollywood awards? And I don't want to spoil the game, they but they look at this causing. like as a joke, hundred percent panhandling on the street. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no way. But I mean, let's be real. Most streamers look at this as a joke too. Totally. Yeah. You know. Some most. No. Jesse, no. Uh, like I, I mean, most rational. I'll say most rational streamers and agree with you. There, there are some people that's like okay. this is life. This is everything to me, and I will. I have to stream 87 hours in three days. And it's like, bro, no, you don't. No, you don't, JP. But no, you even don't. then, I feel... No, see, I, this I is a topic I should not get started on. a month. That's... Because to I me, mean, it's like... Hours a week. Well, it's yeah, they, they take it seriously in the context of, like, growing, but very few content creators take their content seriously. Like, how often do you see people innovating on their old formula? They'll stream for 80 hours a week but they still do the same song and dance every day. They don't produce anything. They'll just turn on a game and sit there and play it. Like they don't produce shows like this. You know, I sound very shady right now. I need to chill. I'm gonna, Ooh, this is a this wow. is hotel. This is hotel. Bronze. What, you know, what goes on at hotel, hotel stays bronze in hotel. Is shit. Yeah. Hotel yeah. bronze is like, they don't do anything. You know, most streamers lazy. I think I'm going to translate for you. Most streamers mm-hmm. lazy as shit. They don't do anything. Then I say they stink. They stink. And more importantly, <laughs> egos, massive egos. That's exactly what Braun said. Verbatim, I think. I think so. Yeah, that's I what I, I heard. I would like to I... clarify that the views of Hotel Bronze do not reflect the views of normal Bronze, except that they do, but they don't. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right. Noted. Noted. Understood. I like Hotel. I'm not going to lie. I like Hotel Bronze. <laughs> hotel Bronze is my favorite Bronze so far. I like this sort of like over it. Uh, you know what? Streamers ain't shit. Yeah, get them, Hotel Bronze. Get them. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. It's going to be a spicy show. Uh, <laughs> who else got snubbed? So Catherine Hahn didn't win. Elizabeth Olsen didn't win. Uh, who else? There was a lot of nominees. I figured they would have gotten like a costume and or... Special, uh, effects, special effects or something for WandaVision. But uh, I guess not. 
It had it won 20, nothing. It had 20. Oh, oh, it had 23 nominations. It did win three primetime creative arts Ooh. Emmy Awards. Uh, four outstanding fantasy sci fi costumes, outstanding production design, and outstanding original music and lyrics uh, for Agatha all along. But it did not win any of the major awards given out during the ceremony last night, despite being up uh, for eight categories. So there you go. Mm-hmm. I guess Marvel shows yeah. still suck, guys. All right, that's what I'm getting from this. There's still a bad time. Still not I mean, good. You can't I- enjoy them. Am I going too far? Is that not true? I mean, you know, you can okay, you can so do you whatever you, you want. I'm gonna... Yeah, you can't ask Hotel Bronze this question. Oh. Okay, that's off limits. That's off yeah. limits. Yeah, well, just wait. Because it's mean... like, okay, I feel like in general there's this trend of, like, not liking Marvel stuff because it's too trendy. Okay. Just, like, all the, the, I'm so tired of people asking, like, directors, I think the entire internet is, like, what do you think of Marvel films? Because they inevitably are, like, oh, they're, they're dog shit movies and I hate them. And then that becomes the trending topic on Twitter. Sure. Like, oh, Martin Scorsese hates Marvel. I'm like, who cares about what Martin Scorsese thinks? Like, on one hand, I can kind of understand that take because Marvel films and Marvel properties have just taken the place of other blockbusters. Mm-hmm. But they, and, and I think they've done a very good job of it. But, like, why are we acting like Marvel invented turn your brain off popcorn flicks like these is these have existed my entire life ever since since before the mcu it's just marvel brought them all under like one property and created a cinematic universe around them but um for some reason there's this entire like subsection of the internet that thinks people like us are idiots because we sit here and talk about these shows and it just gets really old for me personally because I don't think any one of us has said these are the greatest shows that have ever come out and that these are so narratively deep and rich and there's nothing that can top this. We just enjoy them. There are literally people that think these are the only shows we watch. These are the only movies we watch. And the three of us are, are morons who couldn't appreciate a film like the, the green Knight because we're, we watch Marvel films and it's like, I right. just don't, I just don't like that. So I never expect them to win Emmys because I think most people will be like, well, those aren't, those aren't real movies. You know, they're, they don't deserve to win these things. You know, Lord of the Rings, uh, I think, was the only one that bridged that gap of like True. a film that kind of met the standard of critics and fans, you know, yeah. I think, which is why it won so much. But I don't think most Marvel films are going to do that or shows for that matter. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Sorry. As Hotel Bronze rant, I apologize. No, it's fine. It's fine. Look, I'll be real. uh, Apart from the two what if episodes, it's uh, it's dry times right now for for Marvel fans. The the Sean Chi came out, and everyone's just like, "All right, well, I guess we'll just uh, keep watching what if." No big uh, news apart from that. There was in this. uh, Honestly, this seems like very fringe to me, but it's not. I guess it's not that fringe because it's getting its own show. You know about Hit Monkey runs because they got a hulu show for hit monkey which is apparently a marvel comics character of the same name what hit monkey it is a primate who's possessed by the ghost of a human driven to wear a nice suit and murder quote bad people here's the thing the one key art that i see looks great and uh frankly i want more and the like water is that what you're looking at? No, it's a monkey in a suit jumping out. Look at this. This is this is great. I I mean, frankly, I want more of this. I want I want more of this monkey. I'm gonna send it right to uh, where are we at? Where are we what's you, going on you right tell here? Me. Look at this. You tell me. Bam, look at that monkey. Let me see. Look this. at that monkey. He's in a suit. He's he's like uh Asian 47, but like a monkey. Oh yeah. Yeah. And he fights Deadpool a bunch, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense why he's on Hulu. I feel like Hulu is where they just do the off-the-wall shit. Like, that's where Modoc existed uh, with Patton Oswalt 
And uh, I liked that show. It wasn't bad. Yeah. 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 It, it, it's they're off the wall, like not going to fit into necessarily the proper MCU type deal. So we're going to put on Hulu, which is where this show's going to end. At least it's not like, um, what, what part? Wait, was that Hulu 2 Legion? Because that's, that's Marvel. That was FX. That was FX. Oh, is that like the off, off Disney? <laughs> like it F- goes like Disney, uh, Hulu, FX? FX has actually got a pretty good history in terms of like having pretty good shows. Like The Americans was on FX. Uh, Sons of Anarchy was on FX. It's, it's not bad. Um, but now with Disney, who knows, right? I, I don't know where FX is on the, uh, on the ladder of the Marvel world. Yeah, Justified is on there, American Horror Story. They've got a lot of good stuff, but who knows what it looks like after the restructuring. I mean, Legion was kind of fire. It was I'm great. I'm surprised they didn't release that under the Disney umbrella. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see... the uh, premise was great. Love to see Legion in the actual MCU. I doubt it would ever happen. He's too, his show <laughs> was a little too off the wall. I couldn't see any it other It was characters. weird. 100%. 100% it was very weird, but... After some of the stuff we've seen come out of Marvel, like with, I guess I'm 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 in a post what if and post Loki world. I could totally see Legion being something that they bring over to the MCU family. Maybe free Loki. I don't think I would have said that. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You're not. I I would agree. I would agree with all that. Um. Yeah. Is this first episode out? When when does this air? Oh, premieres November seventeenth. Okay, so we've got a long ways. What a what a str- You know what? I can't hate on them for getting wacky with it, but it is crazy that, as far as I can tell, Hitmonkey has existed in exactly six comic issues. You know three what's even Deadpool, weirder? At least three by me. himself. What's even weirder is the Hitman that uh, takes over the monkey's body is voiced by Jason Sudeikis. <laughs> he's great. He's, he's fan- now I want to He's incredible. That. He's amazing. He's he's Ted Lasso. He's great. But mm-hmm. that's that's wild. Uh that's a, I, I, t- the fact that Jason I love Sudeikis that his is, career the voice. is taking off. Yeah, yeah. It, I've loved him for so long on SNL. I'm really happy he's <laughs> having his moment in the sun. It is a little uh, bittersweet, I'm sure, for him that like the catalyst for his success is his divorce from <laughs> Olivia Wilde, right? That's like kind of the, the basis of Ted Lasso in a lot of ways. But yeah, I guess yeah. he turned uh, turned something nice out of uh, out of a shit. So yeah, I think like so much art can be can come from being miserable right you know i think jesse and i talked about this like sometimes those of us that are kind of like entertainers it usually starts from i don't know not knowing how to deal with i don't know how to describe it i forgot how, jesse put it in a really good way but i i forgot what it, he said i now. bet i did i bet i did yeah jesse's very astute he at all times he's he's completely uh you talked about comedy something. as like a vehicle for something social awkwardness or introvertedness i forgot what it was but you 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 put it very well sounds like and me. hotel bronze sounds... can't it well yeah it's all right hotel bronze <laughs> it sounds like me you're right uh i don't like hotel bronze like anymore I, found i would I'm not a, i'm not I a would fan stay. hotel bronze just compliments Why? this is this is just uh you know huge fan of hotel bronze I'm, yeah. i like hotel bronze <laughs> if we could have hotel bronze on more often thank you very much <laughs> Um, anti fan at the moment. We'll see how the rest of the show goes. We'll see how the rest of the show goes. Hotel Bronze. Stop hating Marvel movies. Uh, streamers are lazy, and Jesse's great. <laughs> it's true. Damn. Oh my god. Vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love this variant is my favorite so far. This one. This variant. It's like the. Yeah. It's like the yeah. It's like the uh, the old man bronze of <laughs> variant, where you know you have a lot of magical powers. And frankly, I like them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you've been you've been stuck in that hotel for seventy five years, and you're just like, I have opinions now. I, like- I know this isn't flattering lighting. Okay, I'm doing my best. Look, I had two options. I had two other options, Bronze. Either you would young young kid Bronze, which does not work for me, or you were Alligator Bronze, which frankly I think is alligator. a little more offensive. Alligator. No, alligator. 
Mm-hmm. That's something. That's something old man bronze would say. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be an alligator. What an old man bronze conversation. Yeah. Old man bronze. Man, look how big that bronze cherry is. Gonna work. Did you get like a ritzy ass <laughs> hotel? The that chair, chair is, is dope. Huge. Yeah, I love that chair. Just put that chair. Just take the chair out of the room. Put it in your your seat. That chair suits you. It's great, right? No, I did get a nice hotel because, like, at Punjabi weddings, all your elders give you money. So I was like, "Sweet, give you? Were you getting married? Yeah, why did were you they... get married? I don't know. They call it biad. They call it love, and they just like put a hundred dollar bill in your hand. And they're like, "Hey, hey, kiddo, love you." Time out. You know, whoa, 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 whoa. How do I get in on this? Yeah, can we? How can do you I take get on me and Jesse next time to the wedding? Yeah, can mm-hmm. I? Can I go to a wedding with you? Yeah, I've done it before. <laughs> Frankly, it was great. So I'm just saying, <laughs> if I can get money, if I can get money, Jesse, you would have loved this wedding. You would have loved this I'm wedding. Aware. You would have fit in really well. Yeah, the amount. I think you would have gone shot for shot with these people. I can't. You know, I, I'm not made for it, but. Um, Oh, my man. family gets ripped at weddings. I say this with love and they dance a lot and there's a lot of uh, this. They throw money everywhere. I think uh, other cultures do that too. I think Nigerians do it too. They, they throw money on the dance floor. They make it rain and uh, we eat a uh, goat. We, we eat. Oh, I'm <laughs> we sure eat the food was curry. incredible. <laughs> I would have, I would have been in that dance floor stripping. How many I shaking my ass for those bills? I would have been like, <laughs> that's me shaking my ass. You can't see it, but I'm shaking my ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would, for those bills, I would have been like, yeah, hit me, granddad. Yeah, it would have been a whole, oh, my God. Was there, uh, was there, is there you like a special, bills. is there a special type of like wedding non that is created or is it just like normal non? A wedding non? Yeah. So we, we mostly only eat non at weddings. The rest of the this time is the eat, greatest eat, thing. I need to go right? to more Indian weddings. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. So the thing you're not going to believe, JP, is like, we, we're like hobbits. And I think you and Aaron could really appreciate this. So when I first went to the wedding, they had a giant buffet spread with kebabs, samosas, pakoras, like tandoori chicken, just about everything you could imagine. And then somewhere halfway through the wedding, they cart that away. And that's when they bring out the goat and more meat and vegetarian options because half my family is vegetarian. And everyone will ask you six times, like, have you eaten? You need to eat. Have you eaten? You need to eat. Have you eaten? You need to eat. And my mom asked me seven times, like, you need to take a plate. And I'm like, I ate when I got here. But I forgot that, once again, Punjabi people, we eat two or three times. Yeah. So you have like the jaw service and you have like a full spread to have your tea with. And then you have like the full non and and goat service. And, you know, that's a whole spread. And it was hilarious because the bartenders were like, um, they kept saying on the intercoms, like, hey, or on the, on the DJ system, like, hey, make sure you guys eat. Don't forget to eat. And I was like, what's going on? And um, my cousin comes and tells me, she's like, well, apparently our family's too drunk. So the bartenders are like, these people need to eat before we continue serving them alcohol. That makes sense. <laughs> it was lit. It was <laughs> it was lit, but I can't keep up. I, I haven't been to a Punjabi wedding in a minute. And so it was a lot of fun. But I was like, today I feel like I got hit by a train because I'm just like <laughs> so it was so much the food, the drink, all of it. It sounds yeah. great. It sounds like me and Jesse missed out. <laughs> Jesse's real sad about it. Sounds awesome, but I would have quit job, but no one invited me, and I could have eaten all the food, and then I would have yeah. had to drink, and it would have been amazing. I'll bring you and next I could have shaken you my butt time. on the dance floor and made some dollar dollar bills, y'all. And yeah, then I could have taken money. those dollar bills and put them in my pocket, and then I could have got a samosa. <laughs> samosa sounds yeah. so good right now. And it's oh like God, I 1140. <laughs> Wait, you they would, I would be the first like person. YouTube wouldn't have said no to the plate. No. I would have been the first person. I, they were like, "You have to stop, <laughs> please. You're going too. You're like, it's a lot. You need to stop." I'd be the first person in the history of all weddings. They're like, "Please, no more. Stop." Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to take a plate because then my car is gonna smell. And they were like, "Oh, okay." But <laughs> when I. When I told my white friends this, they're like, why wouldn't you want your car to smell like goat? Like, 
True. <laughs> no, I would. I, I, I agree with you. No, I got other people got to get in that car. I don't want to be like, you can air let's it go. Out. Don't worry about it. Let's go. No, goat. Goat stinks up a car. Does it? That's, your car is going to smell like goat for years. Oh, yeah. Goat yeah, is almost car. like a gamey smell. It's I, been a while since I've had it, though. It's I guess maybe it's been a while since I've had it. I was yeah. really excited. Yeah. It's good, Go- though. Goat curry is, like, so good. Yeah. But it's it's you an acquired Jamaican taste. I think, too. like, it's it's one of those things you're going to either like it or not like it. And it's kind of gamey. It's, like, a little chewy. Yeah. Because it's, it's goat. But Do you have my head slapped. I thought it was. Were there any heads there? Goat heads? You have, like, a goat head? Oh no no no! We don't do, we don't do the head. This is like more Pakistani oh thing. My God. Okay. Oh, I love a good go yeah. go head. It's gross, but like, oh, them cheeks. You're like, oh, thank you, goat. Yeah. Like, so don't worry, bro. Munch, munch, munch. Yeah. I know that like with some <laughs> versions of biryani, they'll take the whole goat head yeah. and throw it in the rice and then slow cook it. We do a version of that, but not with not with the head. We do it with like the you know like a. A leg or something. I don't. I. I don't know how to make goat biryani, but my dad makes really good goat biryani. So. So is your dad single? <laughs> no, but I'm sure he'll cook for you. Damn oh. it! Oh, oh. You gotta cook for you. Just, just bring him a bottle of scotch. You know, the two of you can Easy. like finish Done. off a bottle of scotch, and he'll make biryani. Easy. That's all. Yeah. That's. All. Oh wait. So I. Oh right. Oh right. So I don't have to date him. Great. Yeah. He just. Love he him. just. You <laughs> Wow, I was I was worried. I was willing to do it. I was willing to take one for the team on this. But you know what? If I don't have to, I'm still I can still take get that go. My dad's a good looking guy. I don't I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. I mean, he is. He's like skinnier than me. My dad is in really good shape, and he still has black hair, which is you know we're gonna stop talking about this because I feel like I've derailed the whole conversation. But like. <laughs> I mean that's you know, the show. He's like, what? What? Oh, what conversation were we on? Yeah, we about, weren't on. All his hair. We were talking about it's Hitman like Monkey. Freaking weird to me. I don't even know who that yeah. is. Like no I way. said, You're, there's not I think much. there's a lot You're... of weird Marvel comics though. Wasn't there like a Marvel comic with like a Sasquatch that was a, a police officer? Could be. Yes. What there's was like that? a lot of off the beaten path. Officer Squatch. Or was that? I don't know. I don't know. That uh, that that goes outside so my I'm not realm of knowledge. That there's a hitman monkey. Yeah, goes outside my realm of knowledge. Uh, I mean, apart from that, we've got two what ifs we could talk about. I formulated an opinion though on what if. I don't know if I hmm. like it. I'm I'm. It's like that, uh, that was me going in. If I'm like, well, well, if well. Movies are like. Who a, told you it would be like this, JP? If movies Who said this. If movies are like A tier content and TV shows are like B, sometimes A tier content, what if is like C? It's like the, so far it's the the passing grade well, for me. Well, well, well. Who said it would be like this? Here's the thing that I think they're doing. I'm just uh, not just based on it, ultimately. But yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Well, based on, I, I <clears throat> assume that they're going to do an Avengers. Right? A what end? if Avengers. I mean, that's look, based on this last episode, that's the only thing it could be. Because this last episode had no ending. It didn't. It just in fact, that's exactly the episode my before it had no ending. A hundred percent. It was just like, yeah. They're, they're leading to something. And if they're not, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't think they but are. I'm, I'm giving them a chance that they're leading to something because I've seen enough footage that like was in trailers and stuff where I've seen characters together. Like Agent Carter and creepy Doctor Strange were hanging out in the trailer so i have to believe that it's leading to something where it's in a, where they're all together as the avengers with that all said boy i uh i i, I don't know how i felt about the uh the zombies and i don't know how i feel about uh killmonger i mean i liked killmonger i liked what they did with it but also it wasn't a complete story <laughs> and so it i was like what is happening oh it it was uh I mean I think the the statement it wasn't a complete story is is kind of my my feelings in general on it. And I thought the the zombies one was like <laughs> in a world where this stuff is like too far fetched to begin with, that one was like completely nonsensical to me. It was just like we're going to kill all the B tier characters <laughs> and, and somehow make it like 
punchy and fun. And then uh, we'll do a little sacrifice, uh, self-sacrifice here at the end uh, so the crew can get away. And then, like, the surviving members were, like, a Futurama Ant-Man that had Doctor Strange's cloak, uh, Peter Parker, and then who was the third? Uh, was it was Black it... Panther? No, he he fought one. No, it wasn't Black Panther. Who was the third? It was. It was. Wasn't it Black oh. Panther? It was? Okay, no, then it was, it was Black, Black Panther. Panther. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he was missing a leg, right? Like he had one yeah, leg. Yeah. Because yeah. he was being sacrificed to feed uh Wanda. what's your face? Wanda. Okay, yeah. that Wanda. was crazy, by the way. That was insane. Which which part? Any of the with pick one. What did I <laughs> which part that was crazy? Part that Jesse just said, that was freaking insane. Like where it's like vision is chopping off T'Challa's limbs and feeding Scarlet. Wait, am I the only like I was like tired when i watched the episode and i was like let's rewind 10 seconds because i think i fell asleep and then that scene played again and i was like no they just wrote that in like the, am i that's insane and then for him to be like well it's only logical i'm like that's the opposite of logic you freaking weirdo like who would logically be like let me just chop up the last five remaining humans on earth and feed them to my psycho dead wife and this is logical and then he just casually 10 minutes later is like I must atone for what I've done. I'm like, you chopped off T'Challa's leg, your friend's leg, and fed it to your girlfriend. You, you're going to need to do a little bit more to atone, home skillet. True. Like, with, with a, and everyone just glosses over that, even though that's like, when you stop and think about it, pretty freaking horrifying, pretty dark direction to go for a show that was supposed to be campy. Like, oh, I just, because then I was like, is that what he did to Ant-Man too? Is that what he did to Scott Lang? Did he chop up off yeah. all his limbs and feed it to his wife? And now he's just a head. And Scott Lang yeah. is like cracking jokes like, oh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, that was like, Ant-Man. I don't know. I was I, that was hard for me. I was just like, he's like, I have to atone. I'm like. Well, so the 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 version that I so I before it was revealed that it was like <laughs> Hank Pym is the one who caused the the thing. Um. <clears throat> right. I don't remember how how the what if zombie stuff in the comics happens, but I know Hank Pym's the one trying to cure it in the comics. And Here, I'll, I'll <clears throat> find that out. And the 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 plot point of chopping up people t- uh, in the comics is because Hank Pym is the one trying to find the cure, and so he is doing it so he can like, I think it's so he can with like prevent himself from being a uh like becoming a zombie i don't remember what the plot is i think it's like him becoming a zombie i think and so he's trying to like live long enough to come up with a cure are you talking about in the show or the comics because the comics are in the comics the comics because in the show hank pym is the one who causes it well the, the comics is according to this wikipedia article about the six run marvel zombie series uh it is literally an unknown superhero from another dimension brought by the, quote, hunger, crash lands, and infects the Avengers, X-Men, and Fantastic Four, and almost all the other superheroes. So it's even a, a sillier uh, <laughs> start, is that it's just a character from another dimension, quite literally. Yeah. Which, but, in but, essence, but the guy is trying to save everyone, the But the guy trying to save everyone is, is I believe, Hank Pym. And so it makes sense why, because he's like, I will, you know, he's the dude who'll do whatever it takes to like, um, and, and, and needless to say, it, Bronze is right that it doesn't make a lot of sense that it would be Vision is the one who takes that role in this because Vision is, should be the most sane of all of them and be like, Hey, uh, you know, Wanda really screwed up. And um, yeah, in order to save her, I have to kill her. Like that would be his logical, right? It doesn't make any sense why he would do the thing where, you know, in every zombie, anything, there's like the guy who's like, I can't let my daughter go. So I keep her chained up in the basement. Yeah, it, I feed like, the people. It's a walking like, dead what? story. Yeah. I know. Yeah, even but Resident like, Evil has that. It was sure. such a huge trope, but it was done so poorly. Because... <laughs> Part of you is like, I I don't know how to describe it. Like it was just done as 
it was done so weirdly. Because at any point in time, he says, like, she's hungry. She hasn't had anything to eat for weeks. And I'm like, but T'Challa was right there. Like, what? You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? She, like, why are you keeping him down there if you're not going to continue feeding her? So that part, I don't know. But I will say this. I think I began to like the series more towards the end, whereas you two began to like it less, which is hilarious to me. Well, because of the absurdity to it? Or... Yeah, because even though the zombies episode was kind of stupid, I did like that they weren't trying to make a neat story out of it. Because mm. <laughs> I think my standards dropped as the series went on, because everyone was like, Bronze, you're taking what if too seriously. It's what if. And I'm like, you're right, you're right. So I came into these last two very much like, you know what? I hope they do just something bad shit, just something stupid. And they almost went too stupid with it on zombies. Yeah. And then the next one I liked a little bit more. But I did like that they were like, they literally asked like, well, what if though? Yeah, I, I <laughs> you know, it's like your hothead friend. Yeah, being but, like, but, but what if though? <laughs> I think that's, I think it's just one of the, the reason that I don't like the show is because it, it is completely devoid of any tie in to like the MCU proper. And I think that I have more of a, uh, I like the MCU more than I think. Aspects of the MCU that I like are the aspect that it's all connected and that this has no connection in the show, right? The the show's connection is like uh Jesse's making you don't that know, like you don't know that. Jesse's we, I mean, saying that what if thing. Um but it's the type of thing where it's like it's so absurd and nonsensical. Like I used to watch the sh whatever the show was when it was coming on, or I used to see the movie like the day of the earliest I could. I didn't watch what if till last night. Right, like it's 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 like, and it's the type of thing like oh shit that's right I need to watch the latest what if tomorrow or tonight because I'm doing a show on it tomorrow that's like where my attention is drawn uh, for this I, I show. Think in in my mind, even though the first episode I wasn't a big fan of the first episode, there was a lot that I loved in it, but the first three episodes were standalone. They had endings. Right, yes. like the first episode had an ending, the second episode had an ending, the third episode had an ending. Right. And the reason why I don't like the last two is because they've done that thing where you know in the zombie episode it was like we're going to go to the safest place possible. It's going to be Wakanda, and then Thanos is there with the gauntlet, and he's a zombie, and it's like what, what? Yeah. And so, and I, I don't know. It felt like a non-ending, <clears throat> and then, and I hate when they do that in movies too. I hate when movies are like, we've done it, everyone. We've the saved the day. Yeah. Pan out to like, you know, an in like a calamity, and you're like, well, that that's stupid. Um, but uh, and then this one straight up was just like Killmonger being Killmonger, and I let me tell you, loved the fact that they were like, he's not a good guy. He's still a piece of shit. He's great. What a great character. Like I love. Killmonger just being like Killmonger, like you, I'm doing this for me. Um, and then at the end, it was like the end. I was like, wait, there wasn't an, there was no ending. Well, it yeah, just ended. it was like uh, Shuri ends up in Pepper's office and she's like, we got to do something about this. And Pepper's like, you're right. And then it which ends. Is, yeah, and then, like, which what? is why <laughs> I have to believe that there is a Avenger scenario being set up, right? I have to, for my own sanity, as a fan, I have to believe that in the next Who's however many episodes, though? I mean, Killmonger kills so many people in that. But the, but the time, no right? Way. But I'm saying, like, I, I think it's across all the timelines. No, it's going to be like I'm Jesse, telling you. I think you're doing that thing that I normally do, where I'm like, "That's a great idea," and that's why Marvel won't do it because you always <laughs> tell me that. And when the zombies episode played, I was like, "Yo, Jesse's plot was better than what they had." And I was like, which is precisely why everything Jesse predicted will not come to pass. You know how, many I mean? episodes, but like, how many episodes? But like I'm are telling left. you, I swear to God, I swear to every possible deity in the known universe and unknown. Whoa. I know, all of them. That's a lot. Even, uh, even uh, Spaghetti Monster, Flying Spaghetti it Monster, would be cool even that guy. If it did, but it's not, it's not going to tie together. There's no way. I'm tell I'm, but I'm telling you, dope, I remember. In the first trailer, it was first second trailer. There was a, literally a scene where Captain uh, Carter turns around 
And she's like, who are you? And the person standing there is straight up evil Doctor Strange. I'm telling you. It, I, like, I, it's I got think nine I'm crazy. episodes. I, the next one's Thor, so that means we got two we left. Marvel doctors, not doctors, they edit their trailers to be very You're right, misleading. but like, oh, I'm telling you, I have a, I, I have a There's feeling. There's scenes in their trailers that don't even happen in the show. Like, regularly. Like, so I, I feel have a like feeling the reason the why bastards that would put that in as a red herring. I mean, you're right, but also it makes no sense why the uh, we like Captain Carter is not in the end of her own show, and uh, actually, technically, she is, but she she gets teleported away. Yeah, she's in like a weird space with tentacle creatures. Doctor Strange was in that weird space mm. with tentacle creatures. He's trapped at the end of time. It makes perfect sense why he would be like, F this. Oh, it does. Also, more importantly. I'm not it's It's a great theory. It makes a lot of sense. In fact, the threads are all there. But to quote Jesse Cox, that's precisely why they won't do it. <laughs> I just, I don't know if it's me. But I'm back on board with Hotel Bronze. Hotel Bronze, you're doing great. Wa- watching all the way through. <laughs> watching all the way through. I think. The Watcher is going to actually become a character. You think he's he going to make shit closer, happen? He keeps getting closer and closer and closer and closer to the action. And go back and watch. In the first episode, he's like ethereal in the distance. You can just see his eyes. In the last episode, his like face is well, above he's just the, the he's planet. He's just a giant dude in the background. Yeah, full yeah. full robe and eyes. Yeah, hands I feel everywhere. like that's purposeful too, and that he is eventually going to be like, yo, this multiverse stuff is out of control, and I've been watching for too long. And he's like, I need to get people together. And and he's going to like, I'm telling you, he's going to pull everyone together, and it's about to be like, well, let's... you have to set the multiverse right. Yeah, I'm telling you, shit's about to go down. I'm, I know it's insane, and I know it's a hope against hope at bronze. Sometimes hope is all you have. And I just have to hope, because this last That's episode had no name. ending. No ending. That Zero so ending. Sorry, that line was I think like I think going into this I said on the first few episodes that I wish they didn't feel the need to tell a perfectly contained story and that instead just showed us like because the stories felt too rushed and it's what if and I have to say I'm really impressed that with the last two episodes they still managed to feel too crammed too feverish and without an ending yeah yeah because like the zombies like it's really like there's never a moment for anything to breathe and i think it's because they have this pressure of like telling a fully contained story in like 20 minutes right or whatever however long it is but zombies didn't have an ending and it still felt that way like when happy dies and (laughs) i'm sorry that scene was so tough to watch and you have peter and he's like well i've i I, of course I didn't smile. I've lost everything. And like Happy's dead now and Tony's dead and everyone's dead. So I just, you know, I have to be hopeful. Right. And I was like, yo, Happy just died. And everyone's like, oh, well. <laughs> it lowered the stakes, right? Like it, it, it to me, I was like, oh, I did love so the they don't blam, care. Blam, though. That was oh, hilarious. Sure. Yeah. Even as a zombie, when he was going blam, blam, I was like, okay, that I love. But then they would like try to address why it, why it was being comedy. I was like, don't don't do that. Just let it be dorky. But then they kept having these moments of like, how how do you have hope in all of this? We've lost all our friends. It's like, no 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 no, don't do that because now it's weird. Just be like, well, Happy's gone. Guess we should have stuck together. Anyways, on to the next thing because you know, you kind of have to. What is it? Shaun of the Dead. It. Yeah, you got to keep the same you start tone. Asking those questions. Yeah. You do not want to ask the question of why is no one reacting to the fact this person died? Because then the entire plot falls apart. Right. Just lean into like the comedy of it. So Peter trying to describe why he's still hopeful. I was like, honey, you don't need to do that. It's a, it's a funny, campy little zombie show. We don't need to discuss why Peter Parker isn't sad. So th- it was well, stuff what, like the, that the, that made me feel like the episode was so stupid. Not the plot, to clarify. I thought, I thought well, like, the tone was off. The, the tone of the episode was, was off. It, it is because the blam blam was is hilarious, but then they try to like be like, you know, I just lost a friend. I'm like, no, just Shauna the dead it, and and keep moving, you know, versus yeah. like trying to unpack that emotional baggage because that's like then you're like, okay, this is jarring, right? 
it, and it was, yeah. There's a lot of like to go from goofy bits like we made a documentary about surviving the the zombie apocalypse to uh, a man it had his leg cut off to feed the wife of a dude who's like you know si- there's there's a lot of that like it's it's a lot of mixed signals in an episode and i get it's either like go full horror or go full comedy mm-hmm. campy like and you can still have yeah. moments that i think is actually really funny even though it's like a moment of sacrifice the idea of hope being a character who's like i'm going to become very tall and save you guys but then at the end it's like now she's a tall zombie i think that's actually like pretty comical that there's like a giant super tall zombie for some reason i think that like fits into a comedy bit about you know it's 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 very sort of like zombie funny but um yeah to also have scenes where it's like and then he died and i just have to have hope and don't worry we're headed to wakanda and that and then it's like Fine, I'll do it myself because I'm a zombie now. Like it's like, <laughs> what is what? <laughs> what is happening in the show? Yeah, I would agree. Oh, I, I'm, I also have tons. Look, I think I, a lot of people tell us like, oh, it's what if. Don't pick it apart too much. But the, the the way the shows are presented are where you kind of they encourage you to pick it apart because they ask the same question. Yeah, versus just leaning yes. into the camp. And in one, I loved having Scott Lang's floating head with the cape. I thought that was hilarious. But then when you have that sort of juxtaposed with Vision being like, I love her. I can't let her go. You know, you're like, there is that floating head. I couldn't jo- yeah. make it cracking jokes. I couldn't shake the Futurama about- tie in for me. It just it screamed Futurama. <laughs> That's yeah, all I so remember. it's like, come on, guys, just pick a lane. Why are we trying to do this emotional bit? In the while we have a floating head, yeah. With with all that said, even though that episode tonally was like all over the place, I really liked. Again, I actually really liked this Killmonger episode. I hated the ending, but like loved the episode. And I uh, like, I don't know. I really enjoy the fact that it was kind of a mystery. But the problem that they had again was we only have so much time. So the elements of like, why is he doing the things that he's doing? And will Kinda Pepper s- find out in time? Yeah. And all that stuff. It was rushed along so quickly that if this was like an hour-long drama episode, that would have been really engaging because it's like, oh my God, this is a character who, you know, we've seen Killmonger as a villain and it looks like he's a good guy. It looks like he's helping Tony and Pepper's like a little unsure, but also he's like, definitely you got to go talk to uh, this, these other villains now. Right, you, you got to go talk to Ulysses Claw and stuff. You're like, what is this about? The whole plot, and then him getting to Wakanda, and the and the whole like, what? Why is he doing this? And what is his goal? And all, I don't think we even know at the end what his goal was, except maybe the movie goal, which is well, like that's the thing. It, it the whole the whole episode is based on the idea that you've seen Black Panther the movie, right? Because right. if if you yeah. haven't seen that, you go into the show thinking like, well, why the fuck is this guy doing exactly what you were just saying? But I think it's all supposed to be uh, supposed that he's doing everything with his motives from the movie being the same motive in the show. He's just going yeah, about he's it just in a doing it a different way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, but it's the exact same motive, and it looks like the exact same thing where he's like, "We're going to use Wakanda tech to like rise up around the world." Is yeah. kind of the the vibe. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I expected. I was happy with the episode we got. I definitely thought for sure it was going to be Iron Man Killmonger, which would have been like wild. That's what I, don't I was know thinking why it was that's going to be. When they, when they started building the uh, the robots, I thought that's where. But then he was like, it looks like, uh, he's like, yeah, I like anime. It's a Gundam. <laughs> I was like, I, well, actually, I actually like, I lo- <laughs> I actually weird. like that. I actually really like that. <laughs> I that. It, it yeah. caught me off guard. I, I love I that he ex- just acknowledges it. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting yeah, like, I like anime. Gundam and anime. <laughs> I, I love that. Movie. I thought that was great. Yeah. I, uh, that was very Michael I, B. Jordan. Cause he's a huge anime fan. That's where that came from. It was, it was, it, I don't know. It was just like a weird, I'm not, I'm not going to make fun. Oh my God. You are an Inuyasha stan. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not Jesus. Gonna, I'm not going to give Michael B. Jordan shit. Far be it for me to talk shit on anime fans, you know? Yeah. Wait, am I still no. here? Yeah, you're still okay, here. I'm still yeah, here. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's only Inuyasha now. 
Any Oscar? Awesome um, <laughs> you know, yeah, um, I, I okay. There. So once again, there's a couple of lines from the show that I really liked, like this last episode. Yeah. And one of them was when Tony says, "We were both gearheads who wanted to make it up to our dead fathers," and Killmonger says the fact that you can't see the difference between us is the difference between us. And I was like, like you, you're insulated by privilege and wealth, yeah. you know, like Killmong. I love that they draw that line of like, well, you, you would have had to live his life if you didn't have this padding around you, you know, because he doesn't shy away from the fact that his life has been really hard and he has had to work so hard to get the same things that, Tony has had easier access to, you know, um, especially growing up in, in the, the neighborhood he grew up in, right? Like talking about how rough, how rough his neighborhood was and um, imagine how difficult it was for him to get to MIT versus how Tony had access to the best of everything and was able to get to MIT. Like they're both intelligent, they're both capable, but you know, that I love that they drew that parallel line of like, well, if look at how you live. Killmonger could have had all that. And the only change is that he would have been in your shoes. And I can't, I kind of like that. Killmonger says like, he didn't, he didn't want to kill Tony. Like he, he wanted to be bros with Tony, you know, like he wanted yeah. them to be friends, but Tony has this very, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like this, like, um, goody two shoes or romanticized view of justice and what's right and wrong because he hasn't had to live rough the way Killmonger has. So the episode actually, I think, touched on some really cool things, but they didn't spend enough time on the things I wanted and spent too much on other things, if that makes sense. Because the latter half of the episode, I'm like, why are we doing this? Like, I was, en <laughs> I was enjoying... Like with um, the, the robot army? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I wish that... It, they had spent more time on the front half of the episode and ended it with him killing Tony. I thought that would have been that would have been amazing. a great ending. Yeah. If, if they, like, if, I think you're totally right, Bronze. If they would have done a, I would have accepted because I hated the fact that it ended where it did. I would have accepted an ending where it was like, if it was parallel to the zombie episode, or it was like, and now I'm going to go to Wakanda, right? Except this time he's leading an army of robots to take over Wakanda. Rather than, uh, yeah, I think the the Wakanda bits are fun, but it offered nothing new to the, to the character or story, and everything else with Tony, where it was about these two guys who are the same yet totally different, I think is actually really interesting. And there's the mystery there of why he's doing what he's doing. Yeah, you're totally right. Totally right. I would agree. I would agree. Someone pulled this shot. Uh, Noxa did. In, uh, in my chat from the mid-season trailer uh, with Shuri and Pepper. Uh, Pepper is using the same gun, uh, somewhat of the same gun, with uh, the Dora Milaje behind her. I feel like this was just like a scene that was cut. I, I don't, because there's only three episodes left. They announced this morning uh, the next episode is going to include Thor. And I think this is where Thor is trying to throw the biggest party in the universe. I think it's that plot line. Um, so there's that. two left. Um, I, and I don't, I, I'm trying to think what we haven't seen yet. Right. Cause haven't we seen, we haven't seen Peter. No, Peter did have the, that was zombies, right? When Peter had Dr. Strange's robe. I think he was wearing it for a brief moment there. Yeah, and they say, oh, that looks good on you, and you'll grow into it. Yeah. Is what she said, yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen uh, Gamora Thanos. That was in the uh, the trailer, so that's one episode right there. I don't know. Maybe maybe you're right, uh, Jesse. Maybe, uh, maybe the end of it is, uh, oh, is it Infinity Ultron? Was that teased? Was there an Ultron? Oh if? yeah, if he got if he got the Vision body or something like that, right? I I, I honestly can't, don't can't recall what that was. There wasn't. There, I remember there being some Ultron thing. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Ultron if he got Vision body. 
is what Mercer wrote. All right. I feel like that was a thing too. Yeah, I remember that. So then that, those are the, the other, those are the next three and final three episodes. Because there's only nine for this season. Uh, one of them got bumped to go into uh, season two, which is already confirmed. All right. I, I think... know I'm not. I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm not a crazy person. This photo That's inspired what a crazy person me. says, by the way. I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> right there is the link to the, ori- the original July trailer of this show. Go to one minute, 13 seconds. I'm not a crazy person. All right, let's see. I'm not crazy. That is 100% the two of them in that scene. They're setting it up. They're setting it up. I'm not crazy. They're setting it up. They're setting it up. It's going to be it's going to be Avengers. Donut box and the box is sagging under the weight. You shouldn't have eaten the donuts. It needed the donuts. Yeah, you um, should have kept those donuts in there. What time am I going to, Jesse? 113 is Captain Carter and Doctor Strange. Yeah. Okay. But when the fuck is that going to happen? I don't know. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know why it's going to happen. I just know that that's also in the exact same trailer, because I'm not a crazy person, JP. Or, or, you know, that's what a crazy person this. says. Not a crazy person. This at uh, 39 seconds in is Black Panther... Star Lord and T'Challa, Black Panther, Black Panther, in the same shot with Gamora, and I think this is Thor right next to him. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's about to get wild. Well, hold and on, I'm here this, for it. What if I'm the here last? Ep- what if the last episode ends on that? This could be next episode. Could it not? If Thor's throwing the biggest party in the in the universe, Gamora and Star Lord would both be there, and then other Black Panther could be. I mean, maybe that's the tie-in. What if it's like... Oh, I just I just saw what you said by other Black... No, there are two Black Panthers. Literally, there's two Black Panthers in that shot. Yeah. What if, what if it's like... What if they do what they've done with every episode so far? Where in the very last episode, they're like... They show a portal opening or whatever, and they're like, but there will always be heroes. Or heroes. No, no timeline or whatever. And then it ends because they, they keep ending it like that, where they're just like, but when, where, where one hero falls, another always rises, you know? Could be. I mean, Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that could be like the, the watchers keeps talking at the end of every episode being like, but a hero will always rise. Da, 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 da. I wonder if they're just going to end it like that. <laughs> Reginald. Yeah. I am the watcher and a hero will always be there. You can't, out, out, avenge the Avengers. Uh, that could, me, you're, you're very. I mean, that could though. very well be. All right. Go, here's me. the thing. If all of this gets culminated into one episode, do I like it still? I don't know. I probably not. I probably all the issues that I. I have think it'll there. change how you view everything. You I, I'm telling you, I 100 percent because I feel like this is this is this is the big problem with a lot of this whole Disney Plus garbage, where it's like if they just Netflix this. And released everything, everything at, once. at once. I think yeah. it would change everyone's view of all their properties. True, because they do this week to week thing. Uh, it's the same reason why I, you know, can't do like normal television anymore. Where it's like, well, it's eight seasons and it's week to week, and I'm like, yeah, you've lost me in your plot. But I can go on Netflix, catch up on your show over the course of like a week, and I'm like, oh. Wow, that all actually kind of really went together pretty well. And they like it was a continuing story that I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I think this is what it's gonna be. I'm waiting for it. I'm very excited. And here, if it's not, I will be the first person back on this show to be like, trash. What a trash <laughs> show. Some someone but I'm, my, but I'm hoping against hope. Someone in my chat summed up what you uh said very succinctly. Uh binge dropping hides bad episodes so much better. It really does. Oh, yeah. It, it does. really does. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, maybe, maybe I'll sing a different tune if, if this is the culmination of it all being a thing, but I just, I don't know. But let, let me, let, so let's, let's look at uh, release schedule here. So episode seven is this Wednesday. So it finishes on October 6th. 
the first of October is Venom. Let there be carnage. I think that's the most recent up update. Um, and then the next thing is the 5th of November. So like October goes kind of, uh, dark for MCU is what I'm gathering here from this list. If this is the fully updated list, I think that might be the, it, that'll be like three, four weeks without anything new, uh, out of the MCU, which That's is the uh, longest gap one... since like WandaVision started. Yeah, but we have a we we have a list to cre like create. We do. No, I'm I'm so, we, oh, we yeah. have things I'm to do. I'm very excited show. for us to do watch alongs too because doing the trailer react was really fun and that makes me excited for doing synchronized uh watches of stuff. I think that would be fun with live commentary. Yeah. Be like our own MSP3K or whatever. Yeah. It'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, also, hey, at that trailer 137 is all of the uh, uh, Ultrons. Oh, yeah. So this is definitely... Oh, yeah. Where does he house the, the Infinity Stone? That is, is it in his chest? Or is it... Not, maybe it's not implemented here in this shot. I do not know. What is... What is this white light shot? Uh, that was from the most recent episode. Yeah, there's a bunch of shots in there. Oh, it's of, this shot. Okay. What is this thing? That's the Tesseract. Is it not? From the, uh, mm -hmm. the episode where he takes over yeah. Earth? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's where he uses it to, to vaporize all the... Uh, that's where he's attacking... Uh, was it Coulson? Someone was there. Oh, that's the Frost Giant Beam. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, at 134 is uh, Black Widow throwing a shield... And the shield kind of looks like a Black Widow shield. Oh, it does? Sorry, I was looking at another image of, of Ultron here. It's 134. 134. Yeah, it does not look like any shield we've seen so far. Uh, like, if, if you... Look at that. Look at that. That is a Black Widow shield. Never mind. That's a star. There's a star it's just on dirty. It. Yeah. It's just, but that's clearly, that's clearly Black Widow. I think she is on the planet where they fight Thanos, though. I don't know. That could be the same planet that has Joy Toy or whatever the hell was in the background. Could be. That's the Red Guardian shield. Interesting. Is it Red Guardian? Oh, yeah. But that might be the episode that got cut. Because we know what the next three episodes are. Party Thor, Ultron, and now I'm forgetting the third one. There's something else that we know. Maybe that's the maybe she fits into the Ultron thing. Yeah, let's let's see if uh, Red Guardian's on the cast list. Actually, let's find Let that out. The episodes. How do we know? How that do we know Ding what the, was uh... not. He, he is not in the uh, the list. Let me look at the list here to see who we haven't seen yet. What do you, how do you know what the, 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 it's on the, it's on the wiki. I'll post it in the chat or in the VMAX. We have we seen, oh yeah. We have we seen the ancient one? Yeah. She, she was in the Doctor Strange episode. Um, I think we've seen ev everyone here, though this list might be updating as the episodes air. So maybe that's why. Yeah, we've seen it. I think this episode. Oh, oh, it says the following actors are slated to appear. Uh, so we've got Darcy, Grandmaster. Grandmaster will be in Party Thor. Party Thor. Who is Topaz? She's from the Ultra Force. I don't know who that is. Uh, Jane Foster, she'll be in the Thor episode. Maria Hill, probably the Ultron episode. Uh, Botrock, where are we going to see George St. Pierre? I wonder where he'll be. Uh, Korg, probably party episode. Uh, Surtur, probably party episode as well. I wonder if the party episode causes Ragnarok. I wonder if that's where they're going here. That would be hilarious. Like maybe 
Maybe he doesn't invite Cert. Uh, is it Cert that causes Ragnarok? He's the giant fire guy, right? I think maybe he doesn't get invited or something, mm-hmm. and so then he decides to destroy Eskart. Yeah, when he gets his crown or whatever is when he does. Yeah. He goes and breaks Asgard. Maybe that's the thing. Jesse, have you done oh. your research? I, I see you. I see the look so, of Jesse doing research. Yeah, so the sources are like there's a lot that's that's wrong yet right. So for example, the episode listing, it's clearly changed stuff because the episode listing has episode one, Captain Carter, episode two, T'Challa is Star Lord, episode three, whoever wrote this, it clearly is like, you know, doesn't know everything. Yeah. But episode three, he was like features Loki on Earth, and that's true. Episode four was Doctor Strange, evil Doctor Strange. That's true. Um Unless they reverse that. Was episode three Doctor Strange? I can't remember. In this say, he has episode five being yeah, Party right. Thor and episode six being Tony Stark and Killmonger. But uh, that's so reversed. Those order. are flipped. Yeah. Yeah. And then he says episode seven, Marvel Zombies. And those are flipped as well. And then, because uh, Party Thor is now seven instead of five. So those those are moved. Um, oh, wait. No. Hold on. Am I stupid? Five... We're on seven. Yeah, okay. So um seven is Wednesday, rather. Yeah, party four. And then the other two he lists is he says Infinite Ultron is one of them. Which is what and then it's on screen. Yeah. And then Tony Stark on Sakar. That might have been the episode that was cut. Because there was one episode that was cut and moved to season two. That might have been this. Or that, right? Yeah, Tony Stark on Sakaar doesn't make a lot of sense currently with what we have. No clue. Yeah. I but don't know. We'll see. Topaz would make sense because wasn't Topaz part of uh, Grandmaster's crew? Could be. I, I honestly don't know anything about Topaz. First time hearing the name. So that might be a comic I've thing. I've heard it, but I cannot. Hotel Browns cannot think of who it is. Yeah. Someone in someone in the chat says that they moved the zombie episode up because apparently the views aren't that great. But they they don't have a source, but I I would believe that. I, I don't would think, think that, they were ever going to be. Yeah, I, I think this is a very niche product for to like basically tide people over until the next big show. Yeah. That being said, seeing what Marvel's visually capable of, I really wish they would release something awesome in the animated category. I think that would be really cool. Oh, you mean um, like a full feature MCU thing? Yeah. 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 I mean, the, the history there isn't great, right? Like DC, when it comes to animated, DC completely obliterates Marvel. Sorry, chat. It's the yeah. truth. Up yeah. until Into the Spider-Verse, um, nothing that was, and I don't even think that's officially MCU, right? That's just like. No, it's not canonical in MCU. Yeah. I, I don't, was it made by Disney, I guess, is the question I It was asking? made by Sony. Okay, Sony put so, that out. so Disney has never made something um, uh, g- great for that. So, um, sorry, all over the place here. So uh, I think for me, it's one of those cases where it's like seeing what they, like how, I like the, I like the production values on this, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um I really liked the way it looked visually. I liked the voice acting. I liked a, a lot of it, but I really wish we we got like a good series out of it. Someone mentioned X Men, which I have to agree. X Men is freaking amazing, and I still binge watch that. But we don't, you know, we don't have anything to stand up right to the stuff DC is sure. putting out from Marvel. I would agree. I, I still need to watch the new. Um two Batman movies that just came out. Oh, the animated are, uh, ones? Yeah, the brand new ones that are... Uh, how do I not spoil it? Is that the Killing Joke stuff? No, it's the... What is it? The Long Halloween? The Long oh, oh, uh, Holiday the long Man oh. Murder Mysteries? Isn't it like... The, yeah, Long Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. It's two movies. I still haven't watched those. And they look great. Uh, I just sent you Topaz. Topaz and the Grand I didn't Master. realize that There's was Topaz. I, for some reason... Topaz. Everyone in Topaz the Grandmaster's, uh, you know, dude. I, I guess 
either in the Marvel had a little bit of fun with Topaz, but apparently in the comic, she is a sorceress that has assisted strange and other mystical related characters in the uh, Marvel universe. She's currently a member of the witches in the comics. In the show, in the movie, she was kind of a, uh, right hand, uh, right hand lady or right hand of, of the grandmaster that, uh, killed a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the lady who, who who melted people with the staff yeah, the, that the melts stick. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I, I guess the other thing too that's coming out. Uh, speaking about uh, October being a little bit dry, I think that's when uh, Sean Chi will show up on Disney Plus. I think I'm gonna wa- I'll I'll watch that again. By the way, I'll probably check it out on. Uh, I'll I'll pay the thirty with thirty bucks or whatever and and watch it again. Yeah. I enjoyed it that much. Plus, I want to pause at a bunch of different things so I can actually see what the fuck <laughs> was happening and catch all the little Easter eggs for that. But yeah, so I guess we'll be doing a lot of ranking once this stuff wraps up. <laughs> yeah, I think we were also talking about doing, um, and I think this is actually the perfect timing to do it, considering all of the theories about Kingpin's potential appearance, the rewatch of Daredevil. It would be cool to do like we could. A, I just like, rewatched I don't know that like how a we month would structure ago. like three three episodes a or wait yeah three episodes a episode. I don't know how we would break it down. Mm, we yeah, can't. we'd have to figure it out because I mean that's that's three hours of a show. There's three seasons and we have a lot of <laughs> there's a lot to go through. Did you so a month ago you watched all three seasons? I didn't watch the third season. I started it, but I was. All right. I, I binged way too much. I watched all of Punisher and all of seas- or two seasons plus The Defenders in like two weeks. So Defender, you're so brave. Thank you for your service. Well, I had to watch it because it's part of the Daredevil story. And then that's I came on here and it's you know it was fucking bad. It was I real did not bad. like that show. I don't think now, I ever finished it. Someone in chat does have uh, an interesting idea. Did you guys ever watch Inhumans on ABC? No. I, thought, I didn't watch I, it, but I heard that it was, show got aborted before it, it ever came out. No, it came out. Uh, oh. It has some episodes. I don't know how many. I think they might have finished the season. I just know that it was bad. <laughs> it was like, it was like, it was like a '90s uh, ABC show. We could also do that for some goofs. Has anyone watched Runaways? Is Runaways any good? I've not watched Runaways, and I don't know if it's good. I think I maybe watched the first Runaways Cat, is the one where the good? the parents are like the the yeah, cult or whatever. The, right? the comic is amazing. That's one of the that's like a just a brilliant comic. So if the show sucked, it, that would be so sad because the source material is so fire. Yeah, I'm getting a lot. It, it's okay. They're saying it's all right. Mm. And I never watched Cloak and Dagger as well, only because that stuff was on like. I don't even know. I couldn't tell you the network. It was on some like super unbelievably fringe network that I just didn't want to subscribe to. It's like it was on like HGTV plus or some shit. It just didn't make sense. (laughs) I just didn't. Yeah, that one was a lot. So we're going to do the rankings. We'll figure out something to watch. Uh, I think next week also we'll we'll be doing our uh, second episode of um, the sponsored stuff that we're doing with the midnight suns um I, I just saw an email coming about that so that'll be next week we'll be taking a look at all the stuff that they've shown um which is actually a, a decent chunk there's a lot of uh, new information that we haven't necessarily covered so that'll take up a good portion of next week's show as well as uh, party thor uh for what i've been i can't get over in we'll humans see. i'm looking at this and i'm like it's bad dude. i can't be- i can't it's believe i'm i'm watching a trailer and i just like I'm blown away. Especially when you consider how cool the character, like Black Bolt is one of the coolest characters in the comics. Oh, he's, 100%. He's like an insanely powerful character. He can destroy Black a planet power. with his voice. Yeah. He, it's great. Right. He's the one that, yeah, he destroyed Stark Tower. Yeah. In like, like two seconds because he can assess a structural weakness in like half a second. It was pretty cool. Yeah. He's great. He's a, I don't know. The Inhumans is weird. Like it, people are very divided on them. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I think they're cool. I'm also very partial because uh, my fave uh, Miss Marvel uh, is canonically an Inhuman. 
Yeah. Um, and I love Lockjaw, her big bulldog friend. I think they're adorable. She's um, he's in the show. So is Medusa. They look real stupid. <laughs> aww. I think in in the upcoming Miss Marvel uh, series, she's not an Inhuman, but she gets her powers from inheriting her mom's bracelet. Um, Medusa's in the show. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 not Medusa. Like her, like her Pakistani mom. Like she's got like a bracelet. Oh, she gets her oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I think they're, Marvel. I think they're nixing the whole Inhumans thing, um, in uh, the Kamala Khan show, which might be for the best because that's way too much to introduce in one show. Yeah. It's also because it... in the comic she gets exposed to Terrigen gas and then has this crazy transformation. I think. Uh, the part that I'm confused on how they're going to handle. Oh, wow. Her hair does not look at all like. Wait, That's okay. Medusa. <laughs> men humans, by the way. That doesn't look great. That makes me sad. I, I think the reason it makes me sad is like to get cast in something like that, you'd probably be so excited. And then when you, you know, when you take your first makeup test and you're like, this is ass, I would be heartbroken. That just makes me sad. I'm sorry. Well, I think, right. I think if they're aware of the MCU, if, if the pitch is, we got you into the Marvel universe, you're going to be on ABC, though. <laughs> right? that, that immediately is yeah. like, oh, shit. <laughs> right? that's oh, my an, God. That's a, uh, that's a that, Like, in some ways, if you're, okay, so our Hotel Bronze, use good words. The case that we had with Margot Robbie or even potentially with Vincent D'Onofrio is rare, where if you are a part of a property that they don't want anymore or like a movie they just want to disassociate from, oftentimes your role doesn't get saved. Like right. you are now attached to a film that nobody wants to remember. Like so Margot Robbie being able to maintain her role as Harley Quinn was just because she was exceptional as Harley Quinn. But the first Suicide Squad movie was so hated that it's it's hard to come back from that you know like e even if um I, I really liked one character from iron fist from the two episodes i freaking forced myself to watch um colleen colleen yep best character i feel so bad uh, because for her to be attached to that shit show me <laughs> <laughs> means that you know the uh, the odds of her character coming over into something else are lowered like Am I making sense where, like, you really have to be amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. to get pulled from a show that's been killed? Because usually they're like, let's do something new. Let's, let's you, throw you all of this away. You have to outshine the movie is essentially what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I, I, I'm not saying the Daredevil show is bad. I think it being good is part of the reason why we're probably going to see those characters in the MCU. But the show being killed, sometimes, you know, that they, they're reticent to bring people over. Yeah. And I think that's why they didn't commit to the Quicksilver cameo. I think that's why they, they kept it with that kind of dumb joke that they did instead of committing to it. I think it was like a test to see like, well, if we did start bringing people over, how would people feel about that? Because even though I really liked that version of Quicksilver, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that movie was good. I'm sorry. Right. Wait, Days of Future Past? That movie's not bad. Uh, I thought it was the other one with um, Salsa Stark that he was in. No, he was he was in all of them. Yeah, he was in all of them. He was a recurring character oh. since the first one. They go into he, he like wasn't Island. a main character. Yeah, Apocalypse one. I hated Ap the Apocalypse one. I'm sorry. The Apocalypse, the Apocalypse was bad. That was, Apocalypse that, was shit. that movie was horrible. That was doo -doo. Terrible, terrible movie. Horrible movie. It was an assault real on X Men fans everywhere. How dare you? It, what sucks so, is actually, like okay, so was he bad. was in a good, so he was in one one good one, but being affiliated with a movie like that, you know, once again, it's it's hard to come back from that. You know, it sucks too that like I don't know if we'll ever see Apocalypse now in the proper MCU, and he could have been, and and that's the point I'm making because it's it's really hard to remarket i mean it can be done but it's hard to like we might not even see psylocke you know great character could we could also do a whole dark oh. phoenix thing but that's also been done yeah look i i know i i know the inhumans are probably 
cool. But I still can't get over the fact there's a character who's like thing. Is, like there's a little. I'm looking at a statue of Medusa, and it's a little. You know how like yeah. most of the time, if there's like a statue and it's like you know like a normal sexy Marvel chick, and she's like flying, and there's yeah. like fire and shit behind her. Imagine that, except it's just her hair. The cool fire, the cool like effect of the statue is girl got a lot of hair that moves. I, whatever. <laughs> I just. There's probably a reason why I was never like, man, I'm such a huge fan of them. Medusa's whatever. Well, I think Black Bolt's the best character from that entire like troop, hundred percent. I don't I yeah. I don't even know what a black and bolt I is. Think He's great. If I'm correct, I correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be messing up my comic book history here. And humans was introduced at a time when the film rights for X Men were in the hands of Fox. Yeah, probably. So they introduced the Inhumans so that, because like, okay, there was like a three, four year period where there was like no Fantastic Four comics. Correct. Because a lot of times they use the comics to advertise the films. So if there's like a film they don't want to promote or something they don't want to promote, you'll see the comics get pulled. It's actually, it actually sucks as a comic book reader. Yeah. And the Fantastic Four still existed in other comics, but yeah, they didn't have their own. Yes. They didn't have their solo run. From my understanding and my own theory crafting, um, I, I could have swore they put in the Inhumans to like compete or they started focusing on the Inhumans to compete with the X-Men within sometime in the last eight years. So although they predate that, they, they started pushing them more, even though their characters weren't that popular in the past, in the past eight years I would agree um, with that, to probably. give us an alternative to the X-Men. Yeah, that makes sense um, from a marketing perspective. And so some of those characters were never made, in my opinion, for greatness. I don't like Black Bolt's fantastic, but I don't think Medusa's prototype to me personally ever stood out as one as like, this should be a, a main canonical character. Compare Medusa to like Storm yeah. or, or Jean Grey, and she's freaking pathetic. Like, you know, sorry, I'm going to be rude here, but. I, I mean, so like not all the it's it's like not every X-Men or not every mutant is an X-Men. You have a lot in the background that you you see once or twice, you know, and you might see them in, a, in comics come in and out. But you have like the X-Men, which are like the 10 main ones, you know, that we love um, as much as I love Phantom X. You don't see him all that often, I would say, in like main X-Men properties because they've decided that that character doesn't fit the mold. I think with the humans, they need to do some juggling of the roster because I've never thought Medusa was a compelling character, <laughs> but I, you know, I've always thought she was kind of sucky. That's just my opinion. So, but I think that she was put in the front because they were just pushing the Inhumans at that time. Yeah. Black Bolt had a solo run. That was actually really good. N- no, there's nothing Black Bolt is good at, period. What are you talking I've about? I've never heard of Black Bolt. I've never heard of Black Bolt. That doesn't mean Why he's you not look up good. Black Bolt? Just because he has nope. a... Nope, nope. Black Bolt sucks, and here is why. What? Here's why Black Bolt sucks. Black Bolt's name is Black Agar Boldigan. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, F yes. Black Bolt. But, okay, yes, it Black is. Bolt. That's, that's, that's garbage. Yes, that's it is. No, no, no. His that's, name is Black Agar okay, Boldigan. <laughs> this is very okay, true. But here's that's the thing, trash. Here's the thing. It's wh- when did these comics come out? Like 2000. the 50s. Oh well, yeah. The Inhumans were like 1965. Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. They had it's like they didn't have an update. Like I, I don't I feel like there was like a part of a period of history where we forgot about the inhumans and then they were reintroduced. And I'm telling you, they needed an update. Maybe my comic book history might be wrong. I'm sure people will correct me if it is, but it's like a comic they pick re picked up out of nowhere. And like early like two thousand, yeah. Thirty years later, forty years later, and some of that shit needed update. Yes, his name is fucking no. dumb. I his name, never his, his no proper one, name sucks, but he's literally no one, one of named the... Blackagar Boldigan can destroy the earth with his voice. That's lame as shit. <laughs> he is so dumb. dumb. He's one of the strongest so people in the MC stupid. or in the, the Marvel that. world. No, that guy sucks. Anyone who's like <laughs> Jesse, read the Black it. Bolt. Read the Black Bolt like mini. No, I'm not going to do out. it. I'm not, I would. I refuse to ever Are say that I love Black Bolt now. I can't do that to you myself. You have to read it. It's so good. Chat, tell him it's so good. You'll you'll like him after that. You Black just need to read his little solo run. <laughs> you'll don't. <laughs> Black Agar Bolt again? No, 
all. There's nothing good about that ever. Wait, so I hold on. I refuse to accept this. What? Black Agar Boldigan was this man's name. <laughs> no, no, that's dumb. This is okay. You know what you sound like? You sound like your dad, where he's like, "Oh, this movie's cool, but these costumes, this is dumb." That's you right now. Like, oh, this. Guy I understand him cool, now. I've Agar never been more connected to my father wow. ever. I've never been more connected to my dad. I get him it's now. Just, okay, I understand what he's talking about. It's not even that long. Crazy. You have to read it. It's you'll like, like you'll like him after that. Yeah. <laughs> but his name is Black and Garbolt again. <laughs> I can't you believe can't, I have nothing. I can't argue that. I love that he was like, call me Black Bolt. <laughs> They're like, isn't that just your name though? He wouldn't no. say that. He wouldn't talk, Jesse. He can't he can only talk in whispers. Okay. That's I, I, I absolutely that's my favorite trope of terrible writing when it's like my name is Doom Fist. My real name is Dumilius Fisticus. And you're like, <laughs> shut up. Sh- shut up. It sucks. <laughs> you suck. He probably Who doesn't even, you? you know. He probably my doesn't name even tell is people. Face his name. Smasher, but my real name is Facetican Smashtilius the third Esquire. Like, don't look at it. Stop Shut it. Up. You suck. I'm so mad at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait till Jesse learns that Jon Snow's character is named Black Knight in the internal. Oh, no, I'm aware of that. That but doesn't bother you? No, because he's not going to, during the middle of the, of the movie, be like, my name is actually Black and Stinian. <laughs> Von Knight Achilles. It's Dane. Some non- it's, it's actually Dane Knight again. Is his name, but yeah. My name is. So it's not the name you have an issue with. It's that his name, his yes. actual name, is. Imagine, is for... imagine, imagine if Black Knight's name was Blackagar Nightagon. <laughs> that would be trash. What a terrible! Oh, I'd be like, no, I'm out. Blackagar Boldagon is. <laughs> Oh boy! Blackagar Boldagon. Somewhere his family, his family's surname is Boldagon. Maybe so. of the space Boldagons. Nah, nah, I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got Jesse's favorite character now in the comics. It's Black Bolt. <laughs> it's canonical. You know what's funny? I might is become I can't a even huge Blackagar Boldagon because I fan. scrolled up yeah. in chat, and chat said that. It came out in 65. So I was yeah. off when I said, like, the late 50s. So it came out in 65. And back the then, am I wrong? Premise. All the names sucked. Like, a majority of the names sucked. Like, I feel like if you go oh read 60s God. comics, they have the stupidest names. <laughs> it's a dumb name. But you have to read the miniseries. You have to. <laughs> I'll do it for sure. But oh man, I, I just was... love it. What a, that is that is like last minute D and D naming. Blackagar yes. Boltagon, but my friends call me Black Bolt. That's lazy as shit. That's so lazy. <laughs> His brother's name is Maximus, <laughs> but I've never heard of Max Bolt. You know? Oh my god, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Max Bolt. I'm Maximus Boltagon. That's right. They call me Max Bolt. Maximus Boltagon, his current alias is Maximus. I'm dead. King Maximus, what if it was Maximus, Maximus the Mad, Maximus the Mage, Prophet, and Uncle Max was also one of his Maximult aliases. Is what is what they they call me Maximult. Yeah. Hmm. Oh man, I can't. I'm so happy I looked that up. I was like, I've never heard of Black Bolt before, and the first thing I see, I thought it was a joke too. <laughs> He's no, nope, upon the joke. Was, Straight up Blackagar Boltagon. I can't get, I gotta stop looking at this. I can't believe that he's real. That is amazing. Well, I can think of no better way to finish an MCU crew with this revelation, Jesse. <laughs> of your new favorite character. Time, time out. Blackagar Boltagon. Time, time out. Uh oh. He's I getting can't... into the. Now you see why they were uh, put to ABC. So this this guy right here, Uh-oh. Are this you guy an right this this guy right here, okay. this guy who is rippling the world and destroying everything with his voice. This dude, show this image, JP. Show yeah. this image. Yeah, this guy right here. 
This is a pretty this iconic. This guy who uh, is an incredibly pretty... powerful. This guy. Yeah. Is named Blackagar <laughs> Boldagut. <laughs> The more you say it, the more stupid it sounds. Because <laughs> it is! It's so stupid! Jesse, what if I told you his little, uh, little like, webbing right here is created because it uh, helps him harness his voice and carry his voice better? Does he fly at all? Does he have flying uh, yeah, powers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could definitely fly. So does it help him when he flies? Uh, like- probably not. I think he just straight up fly. <laughs> oh, well, then what the... The webbing helps him with his. Um, I think he can just actually. Oh yeah, he has anti gravitational flight, which is him. So uh, this is reading straight from his wiki. Uh, it's him harnessing the unknown particles in his brain. Or sorry, his brain generates to interact with electrons to create anti gravitrons that enable him to defy gravity. He can uh, fly. This guy sounds real, real cool. He can be shown to fly cool. faster than hypersonic speeds for a period of ten sounds, hours, and to fly beyond awesome. escape mm. velocity. So cool! Very mm. excited to to really get into to Black Agar Bold again. Very excited about this. It's great. This read guy, the I can't comment. wait to learn more. Read the read the freaking comment. People are people are like, but Jesse, what about this like character it. and this character? They're all like, I, they all have names, and then they all have, like none of them are named. Like Wolverine's name wasn't John Wolverine. <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> like, it could have been. Like Storm isn't like my name is Stormy Weathers, and they call me Storm. <laughs> like that's not like that's not. <laughs> It isn't like Jean Grey's name was like Jeanette Gra- Graviolis, right? Like it isn't Phoenix. like, yeah, like it just. Listen, listen. <laughs> the Black Bolt comic and the Vision comic. Those are just the two that I'm going to say. Read those and Matt Fraction's Hawkeye Run. That's it. What about. Uh, That's it. Read those in your hat. You'll, what happy. about Otto Octavius? Jesse, how do we feel about that? Oh, Otto yeah, Octavius that's a dumb is, name. Otto Octavius is an incredibly dumb name. What I've about always said that. Victor Von Doom? Uh, yeah, Doctor Doom too. is a doctor, hence the doctor in the Doctor Doom. Makes perfect sense. What about... Uh, Otto Octavius is silly. Finn Feng Foom. I mean, that's a perfect name. There's nothing wrong <laughs> about that name at all. That name is perfect... How dare anyone Leave say happy anything alone. about people are now throwing Happy Hogan in there? Leave, <laughs> Leave Happy alone. What about? Uh, I, have... I don't know. We could do this all day. I was gonna say Pepper Potts is a pretty stupid fucking name. Yeah, but it um, very much fits her character, right? Like she, her her superpower is not called Miss Pot, right? She doesn't just yeah. like sprinkle weed everywhere, which would also yeah, and <laughs> Yeah, like Professor X is Professor X. Like that makes sense, right? Like those make sense, right? Uh, uh, it isn't like instead of Magneto, it was like Max Max Nito. You know what I mean? Like he's like call me Magneto. It's like it isn't. What was Magneto's name actually? Uh, I'm blanking. Doesn't Magneto um, have different names? I'm blanking. In the movies, it was Eric. Um, but. Eric Lyncher? Yeah. His, uh, no, I think his name not, originally no, was that's Magnus. that's not the original one. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Max the, the Eisenhart? Is Mag- yeah, the problem is Magneto has a bunch of different names. That's the biggest issue. I think it's Michael Fassbender. That's correct, chat. That's his actual name. Yeah. God, he's Max such a good Magneto. Eisenhart? I hope we get, I hope they keep him. I would agree. If we ever I just want to see more X-Men. Magneto, right? I just want to see Magneto being a badass. Yeah, I feel like X-Men, I'm such a big fan of the comic. I don't even care for the rest of the X-Men. I just want Magneto. But it's so hard because introducing them and then, like, <laughs> the number of characters that exist, it, I, you know, it's so difficult. I think we just have to have a couple of mutants in the MCU. Yeah. 
So I was laughing. I was. You could make a too. movie on each one. You know, you can make a movie like on on just Storm. You can make a movie yeah. on just Magneto. You can make a. Mo- We've seen movies on just Wolverine, right? Like, so the anything bigger than that in scope, I feel like just gets away. I, but I'm also speaking from a very selfish place that I would love to see my beloved Kurt, you know, Nightcrawler and stuff. I would just, I would love that. Nah, that I, I don't think so. Happy. He was the weakest in the X-Men movies. He was great in the comics, but uh, someone. Yeah, I don't think he could carry a solo film, but I think having him or Hank McCoy in anything would just make me so happy. I just want Frazier back as Hank McCoy. That's, that's my dream. Someone in my chat said Magneto gets defeated by a wooden gun. You know, it does kind of like lessen his uh, cool to <laughs> lose to a wooden gun. He just can't stop it. That's true. He but. would use metal as a shield. I mean, Remember apparently that not. Scene in in the comic where he can float on a rebar and he like floats in the, like all of his team on these like giant he can just construction float. struts. Yeah, if some if well, he like floats in his team on these like giant pieces of metal. Like if you were to try to shoot Magneto with a wooden gun, he would react and be able to use metal to deflect it because Magneto has survived a concentration camp. You think your wooden gun is going to kill him? That's motherfucking Nito, all right? What is the, uh, that's the... That's the OG, okay? What's that game where you try to... Like, you're given two things. You and another person are given two things to defend, and you have to defend them both. Is that, like, super... God damn it. What is that game? It was huge. Yeah, Super Fight. This sounds like we're we're getting into Super Fight now with with explaining uh, our different characters. (laughs) Jesse, it looks like you've been reading once again. Do you have any last minute revelations before we do shout out? I'm just going through all the different names of characters just to confirm my theory that this is a standout in terribleness. And it truly is. Okay. It truly is. Otto Octavius (laughs) is, is, I would say, a second place. They're like, call him Dr. Rock. Okay, what's his real name? uh Otto octavius like you know whatever All right. but uh yeah also i think it's weird that dr octopus it's because he has eight limbs but really it's like six hands and two feet which is kind of weird you know what i mean like it's not really eight hands sure he's got, he's got six hands two feet i don't sure. know it's just like a you know, great character yeah so maybe maybe i'll love maybe i'll love black bolt and it will still be weird what a, but my first introduction to this character is learning that his name is blackagon bolt again is not a it's not, i'm not i'll be sold Black-a-gar? on it yet excuse me it's blackagar it's black what i say his black-a-gar. name was i don't know something that sounds real bolt again? You, said, you said blackagon it's i'm Black-a-gar. so sorry i butchered his name yeah I'm, my apologies well, he could kill you by saying his own name yeah so you should could. say it correctly <laughs> it's good you can destroy <laughs> Your entire Sorry, I'm just trolling now. This is just Hotel Bronze being an asshole. <laughs> All right. On that note, we got to get out of here. Bronze, do some shout outs. We'll wrap up the MCU crew oh. for this week. Where can people check you out when you're not in a hotel? Hi. Hello. I apologize for my very bad uh, production value today. Usually it's a lot better and you can see it uh, live seven, six days a week, every day except Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash that bronze girl. And you can follow me on Twitter. I'm actually super close to 30,000 followers, which for me is a huge uh, landmark. I would love to have your support in that. So, yeah, that's me. Awesome. I'll probably be talking about Why the Last Man this week because that's a comic book run that is very close to my heart. So, Hey, we yeah, I, I've watched four episodes of that. It's not bad. <laughs> Did you watch last night's episode? It's not bad. Well, you were at a wedding. I only, I've, only watched, I've only watched one episode so far, yeah. Oh, um, okay. I mean, I'm, but, they've got four out there. You've got some catching up. I have got some catching up to do. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's not bad. The first, I didn't, I didn't mind the first one. So it's a little slow, but you know they're setting some stuff up. But uh, I think the episode four they actually got to like a proper setup and they're moving forward. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. Jesse, besides having your mind blown by Blackagar Boldigan, what are you up I to? I just had to tweet directly at Bronze oh, Blackagar Boldigan. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, tuning in every Monday as we talk about the MCU. Uh, man, it was uh, it's great to be back from uh, overseas and to be here and not a mess. 
Um, yeah, I, uh, well, all right. Maybe not, maybe still a mess, but it's nice to be back. Always a mess. Uh, yeah. Always a mess. But, uh, yeah. Hey, if you want to see me and see the things I do right there, it's all on the side of the screen. Thanks for, uh, tuning in. I got the new YouTube video. If you're into final fantasy 14 on the old YouTube channel, it's, uh, you know, it's a beginner's guide to the game. So I hope you'll enjoy that as well, but that's it for me back to back to work. I go, I got to do a new thing now so once one thing's done it's on to the next baby do you have any <laughs> thoughts about transportation prices jesse jp i want to let you know uh-huh that i hate i hate you <laughs> and that was the longest 30 minutes of my, i like honestly God, people are clipping that and sending I it went to friends back, i like, went back and watched the vod jesse because <laughs> i didn't remember much from that seven hour stream that we did uh, I can't Friday night till 4 a.m. But I at the end the of internet. it, I was this. I hate them. I was just like this. Oh yeah, we were just like. <laughs> I can't. We past I I out. hate. I hate the fact that he sat there and was just like, I have to explain this to these people. They don't seem to understand the cost <laughs> of teleportation prices, and everyone's just like, I don't get it. I'm like, there's nothing to get. There's nothing. There's nothing to get. It's 500. It's 500 more bucks. That's it. It's it's like. You do one question, you got five hundred more bucks. Just shut up and play the game. People are like I, <laughs> oh, taxes. Man. I don't like. I hate the internet. I hate everyone. There's good times. If you're wondering what me and Jesse I'm are sorry talking I about, sorry, I lost through your whole outro, Jesse. I just read Hotel Agar Bronze Again, <laughs> and I, just, <laughs> I, just, I was giggling. It's good through your through your self promo. <laughs> So fuck you, whoever wrote that, because I was trying so hard to say. It's a good name. It's a good name. <laughs> Sounds like a freaking Pokemon hotel guard. It's like a little hotel. <laughs> <laughs> With some you know, because all the Pokemon it. are stupid. It's like Pokemon. Whoa! Whoa. Now you're Pokemon, now you're getting too far. You're gonna anger Stable. our audience here. And it shoots it shoots staples or something. Cup cupcake, <laughs> yo, key keys. <laughs> The MCU crew does not endorse or support anything that Hotelagon Bronzegar is saying. Uh, she is on her own, and uh, we are not uh, liable. We being me and yeah, Pokemon's uh, cool. Don't get Jessica me wrong. I just feel like Hotelagar could definitely be a Pokemon. Jessagon Coxie. That's her name. Jessagon Coxigar. No, you got Coxigon. Jessagon Coxie. That's obviously the name. Jessigar Coxigon is fine. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the MCU crew th this week. We'll be back next week. We'll watch that. Uh, what if? Sorry, I blinked on the show. And then, party uh, ever. Yeah. And then we're, me and uh, Bronze and Jesse are going to go to another Indian wedding. This is just We're going to make this into a wedding crashers show. <laughs> we just like, yeah, can we just throw a wedding? Wouldn't that just be a what, party? Does that have, have to be rules? Yeah. Does that well, have to be like, like to, you know. Someone has to get married at a wedding. Uh, <laughs> I'm already hit, so that's up to you guys. What If one of you is getting married, then oh, we'll throw another party. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Who could be left then? Weird. Weird. Strange. Strange how that works. So, so strange. Definitely not someone oh. who won't read the Black Bolt comic because the same as Black <laughs> That's true. You know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine with going stag then. It's all right. I'll be single. <laughs> if it means I have to love Black Agar Bolt again, How I'm fine. How could you not like alone. Black Agar Bolt? Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's so cool. That is, I think he needs, he needs some more fiber in his diet, to be honest. He's that is so not incredibly cool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Is this, I don't know. Is this the, who did the art for this? It looks like the uh, it looks like Alex Ross, a little bit, a little bit. Anyways, like a guard Boldy. All right, we got to end this. Or We're I'm just gonna mention He's his just name. gonna be mentioning his name nonstop. Yeah. Thank you uh, for watching. We will see you next week for more MCU crew. We're out of here. Oh, also next week we'll do the sponsored stuff for uh, Midnight Suns. I forgot to uh, to add that in. So if you want some more information on that, feel free to stop by next week for our show. We're out of here. See you guys then. Bye bye. Bye.